Hey, hey, this is Andrew from Creative Cables. Today I'm going to show you how to wire up your own metal flat top uh, socket cover and with the plastic conical strain relief. So first I'm actually going to show you the tools that I use. This is a coaxial cable cutter. If you don't have one of those, you can do all of this with a regular razor blade or a pair of scissors even. This is a cable stripper, um, needle nose pliers, and a regular small, very small uh, flathead screwdriver. So you'll get a box like this, a nice little Creative Cables box. Uh, inside, you'll first be dealing with the plastic strain relief. It's a conical strain relief. I put the top of that strain relief on first. I take out the actual socket and then add the uh, flat top socket cover. And then we'll strip back the, the cable about an inch maybe a little less. Break that off. And then I go ahead and strip down your uh, ground hot and neutral cables. Black, white, and green. I did that about uh, maybe a quarter of an inch for black and white then a little less than that on the, uh, the ground wire, the green. Once you have that, I just go ahead and twist them up real quick. Makes things easier for the next steps. And then I add the, the bottom of that plastic strain relief to the top of the actual socket. Once that's good and on there, I'll go inside the socket top and I'll actually loosen up the, the ground screw that's inside there. Just get it good and loose, just a few good turns there. Then add all of that to the cable. Get the black and white cables out of the way and slide this, this green ground wire into that hole that, the, uh, that you loosened up already. And then tighten that ground down. Once that's good and tight, you will then take out the, the body of the socket, which has a hot and neutral connector on it. We actually put that into this uh, upside down, and that's so that it doesn't lock down onto it. There's a little tab right there that if it, if it comes this way, it could get locked down. You'll need to use a flathead or something to press that down. There's another video about that and we'll just add a little link down below if you get uh if you get one that's already locked on you you're gonna add the white to the silver connector and tighten that down This one's a little, little hard, but it'll loosen up the more you do it. There you go. And then do the same black to gold. Slide that in there, tighten it down. That's good and easy. Once you've done all of that, you're just gonna slide that in there, it'll fit if you spin it around a couple times, the, the top, if you spin that around, it'll just fit in perfectly. 
then you add that to the, uh, the bottom of the actual socket until you hear it click a few times. Make sure it's getting on there. Slide down your uh, socket cover. Make sure you get that bottom of the strainer leaf all the way through. Sometimes the, the, the little tabs want to be a little difficult. Just press them down, work them around a little bit, and they should eventually slide right on through. This one's really being difficult. You may need to use a flat head and get these through there. I don't know why this one's being so difficult. Once you get all four of those tabs through there, you'll slide the top of that strain relief down over those. I'll put two fingers in here, hold it in place, and tighten them down. If it gets to a point where it's almost as tight as you can do with your hand, you might take a rag to get some, some extra oomph and really tighten that down. And there you go. That is how to make your own flat top, metal flat top uh, cover and socket cover and plastic conical strain relief. That is a mouthful, but there you go. That's how you do it. And thank you.